Hi everyone, this is Joe slash Foozle, and today I'm going to share with you a side project I took on to make an infinite 3D tunnel inside of Construct 3. I didn't use any external plugins, it's just good old sprites, meshes, and a whole bunch of fun 3D math. It even somewhat resembles this glorious moment in Earthworm Jim. Oh, Nelly! Oh, Nelly. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Anyways, you know, I, I think that what I created is pretty similar to that example from uh, Earthworm Jim, which is pretty awesome that we were able to do that inside of Construct 3 and using just sprites, meshes, and math, figure all this out. So let's go ahead and see what I created. Okay, so now we're in C3. Let's go ahead and hit play on my version. Hey, hey, we have a tunnel. <laughs> that took way too long to figure out. And you know what? Let's go ahead and click and boom. Ah, oh, we're moving in the tunnel. This is awesome. I mean, I think it's awesome. I mean, I probably will never turn it into any real game, but it was a lot of fun figuring out. And this little slider here is, aha, light speed. Now, ah, there we go. <laughs> Anyways, you know what? This was super fun uh, to figure out. It was actually kind of a pain in the rear, but I did learn quite a bit. So let's go ahead and talk about how some of these things uh, were done. So to make this happen, there's a few things that we really need to figure out. The very first thing that we need to figure out is how are we gonna make a curve through 3D space? And the first thing that I ended up finding, which ended up being a huge blessing, was this library called bezier.js from Pomax. So thank you, Pomax. This thing is, saved me a ton of time. And it allows you using uh, these tools to create Bezier curves using uh, either quadratic or cubic, which is what I use. And you need to input four points and it lets you control the curve. And ultimately with this and some of these other functions, I was able to help define that curve. Now in order to make something like this work inside of Construct 3, um, you can download uh, the JS and then literally inside of your engine, you go to scripts, right click, add script, and just copy and paste it into, you know, a script file. Now you'll notice that <clears throat> the purpose is set to none here. And then also on my tunnel.js, it's set to none, but I have this one called imports for events. And I have that set to imports for events. And in the, inside of that one, I import my tunnel.js and inside my tunnel.js, I import my bezier.js. And that lets me use those functions. And specifically, you know, like that bezier example, uh, it lets you, you know, do things where now you can do like consp b equals new bezier dot bezier with a set of input points. That's what we did over here. These are the four points, right? And it lets me define my curve. And so, you know, if we go back to our example here, um, that's great. You know, I need to, I can come up with a spline through 3D space. That's the first step. Uh, well, I need to wrap, you know, these sprites here, which are my tunnels, around it somehow. And just a line through 3D space isn't enough, right? You actually need like circles through 3D space, and then you need to mesh to form on, onto that set of data. And in order to do that, there were some other things I needed to figure out how how to to calculate. And thank you to Mr. Zarax uh, on Stack Exchange. These sets of equations is what I needed. And ultimately it let me, you know, give, starting with a certain point and a vector and a certain radius and a certain theta around that point, I can calculate the X, Y, and Z in 3D space using these equations. So I've got my two main pieces of my puzzle. Now I can wrap through, through space and at points along in that 3D space. And by the way, you're, you're kind of stepping along uh, T. That's like this, this get LUT, get lookup table. I can input a point along that curve and I can get back my XYZ. So at each of these points in 3D space, I can then use the circle equation to get a whole bunch of set of points around that point in a circle. And I have to make sure it's all curved and smooth, but ultimately I have a whole bunch of data for a tunnel. And that's great, right? Now I can wrap my item around it. And the way that that kind of looks like inside of the event sheet, which we are super glossing over. <laughs> and where is it? <laughs> Set mesh point. I loop through my points along the spline, and then I loop around the points on the circle. And then I can set the mesh point using these uh, equations here. This is where the magic all ends up happening, where it deforms onto it. So whole bunch of 
black box magic that occurs before this point, but this is what ends up doing it. And you can go ahead and download the project file if you want to try to figure it out. I, I did my best to organize it so it was understandable. But that's just one tunnel, and that tunnel would run out pretty quickly. So you need to figure out how to string them together, and then you need to figure out how to move it. And the player is not actually moving in this case. I actually have the tunnels moving around the player. So the trick here is you have to figure out how do you keep creating things in the distance and then figuring out how much I need to shift each tunnel X, Y, and Z around the player depending on the player's speed. And that's really the magic of, of how this all works. And then there's a whole bunch of painstaking, pain in the rear activities that you have to do to string it all together. But find your point through 3D space, calculate your circles along each point, figure out how to wrap that around, do that a bunch of times, move it over your player, delete the ones that have already gone behind you, spawn new ones as you need, and then you have an infinite 3D tunnel inside of Construct 3. This project file will be made available on itch. Oh, one last thing I wanted to show, because I do think it is really cool. Coming on into here, if you set this variable here, tunnel circle granularity, to something smaller than 16, you can actually make a more interesting shape, which is a triangle infinite 3D tunnel. And you know what? I thought this was pretty cool. And you can actually see in here how the segments are getting created. I'm actually making the offset of the angle for each uh, uh, tunnel to just be random from zero to 360 degrees. And I thought that was kind of a cool effect. So anyways, uh, feel free to turn this into a game. I don't know, it's licensed CC0, use it however you want. Uh, I just put way too much time into figuring this all out. So if anybody uses it, let me know on Discord and uh, have fun trying to figure it all out. And that's it, I'm not gonna go any deeper. Otherwise, this will become three hours. If you stuck through the video up to this point, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Okay, everybody. Thank you and have a nice day.